Lighties, 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 lighties. We are here on the show. We are on the show to review the uh, NASCAR Cup Series race that concluded a few hours ago from Texas Motor Speedway. And before I get this review out of the way, I'm just going to give like the top 10 and give some notable finishers. I probably won't be commenting on anybody's reviews. So I'm staying in my mama's house and out with my mom because it is hot here. I. I it's just too hot. The air conditioning has a leak in it. And it's just... I mean, I've had the window open. It's not helping, so... I probably won't be commenting, commenting on any reviews uh, on anybody's channels until tomorrow. So, just letting, but just letting you guys know that. My subscribers. So, let's just get into the review of the race. So, I start off Elmerola Blaney on the front row. Elmerola has the lead. Then, after the lap 20 competition caution, people stay out. Harvick was leading for a little bit until Elmerola passed him. But then we got some good pitch strategy. Ryan Blaney got out front to the lead, and he won stage one, stage two. That was also won by Ryan Blaney. There weren't many accidents. Almirola got a penalty that screwed his day up. But he did get back into top ten, top five at one time. So Ryan Blaney won stage two, stage three. There was a few wrecks. Now John Hunter and Nemechek wrecked. And then Brad Keselowski, Denny Hill, and Ryan Blaney each traded the lead. They had a good battle up near the front. And then we had a wreck. Uh, Almirola clipped Kyle Busch. In the Martin Tricks, we had a big wreck, include Ryan Priest, William Byron, and then William Byron had another wreck with Ty Dillon. So, that wreck involved Matt Kenseth. They involved a lot more. Like Ricky Stenhouse, we had a big one. And then, what else happened? Austin Dillon, Tyler Reddick pitted. They took made good strategy. Because Quinn Half, and this was the biggest accident. Quinn Half going to enter pit road. He enters high for some reason. And then Christopher Bell hits him and doesn't know he's pitting. And then he goes back, clips Matt DiBenedetto, who was who had a top five car. Like, this guy should not be in the Cup Series. They replaced Landon Castle, a decent driver, good driver for Quinn Half, who tears up cars and runs 30th every week. He runs like 30th or 35th. It's sad. And they pretty much screwed up Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, El Marola's chances again a top five to seven finish. Blaney easily had the best car. But dumbass lap dumbass lap car ruins everything. So and then Austin Dillon on the restarts gets the jumps, get and clears Tyler Reddick. And well Denny Hamlin and Alex Bowman had an incident. Hamlin got loose, gone to Bowman, and destroyed their days. Hamlin went back on the track. He had Chase Elliott got him loose, and then he spun through the grass. And then the final restart, Austin Dillon just got a good restart and got it home for the win. It's just a joke. I just I just don't like Austin Dillon. Just because he wins, I'm not going to hop on the train and say, Ooh, he's a good driver. No, he won it because of clean air. This package sucks. Easily the best car, Ryan Blaney, finished the seventh, so. And then Chase Elliott should have got a top five rushing in, but no. Can't have good things. So, your top finishers, Austin Dillon, Silver Spoon, he ain't good just because he won a race. Waste of a playoff spot. Second, Tyler Reddick, who should have won this race. Third, Joey Logano, fuck Joey Logano. Fourth, Kyle Busch, fuck Kyle Busch. Fifth, Kevin Harvick. Sixth, Eric Jones, Ryan Blaney, Sam should have finished first. Kurt Busch, 8th. Brack is last game. 9th. Eric Rimmel continues the top 10 streak at 10th. Chase only finishes 12th. He should have had a top 5 to 7. He was running that through the second half of the race. De Benedetto, 17th after that Quinn Half incident. Jimmy Johnson, 26th. Hit the wall. Lost laps. Truex got 29th after getting clipped. Bowman, 30th. And Byron, 32nd. So I'm going to give this race a 5 out of 10 just because there was Rex and Austin Dillon won. Not gonna give it a high rating. The race sucked. The first two stages sucked. Just like um Kentucky. Like ninety percent of the race sucked. The good and the finish was good. This finish was like okay. It was a solid race. I'll give it a five. It was solid. it was okay. It's just, I'd rather better race. But that's my thoughts. Uh I won't be back again tonight. I'll probably be back here tomorrow. And I'll probably comment on peop some people's uh Reviews for Extreme Rules, because I'm staying at Mamaw's house tonight, because it's hot as hell here. Air conditioning's out, so until next time, I'll go out holla at you, boy.